Hi guys, it's me again, Zell, and welcome to the channel where we do reaction videos, and that's mostly it. Sometimes there's other stuff. But today we're going to be watching, continuing watching Arcane, episode 8 today, Oil and Water. Definitely a good descriptive title for the stuff that's going on. Things that just don't want to mix. They both have similarities, they're both liquids, but they just do not mix very well, so sure there's more to it i'm just making something up but uh but yeah uh i'm just gonna be watching the rest of the show today because it's intense and i watched episode seven just a bit ago and it's a doozy um i'm hoping that echo and jinx aren't dead uh that would be a tragedy i would be kind of sad and disappointed that they would take away Echo after he revealed himself and he's just so cool and I really like him and he's such a good leader and a good heart. Um, he wants better for people in Undercity and he just wants, I think, peace, obviously. And ultimately, I think a lot of people do. I think even like, again, I don't know, I'm fighting for Jinx because I really feel for her. I mean, people don't realize what the f stuff stuff that's going on in her head that she's literally having Milo in the back of her head talking because she's like, yeah. It's, I don't have a full on diagnosis because I'm not a doctor and she's a fictional character, but she's, she's very, um, impulsive and destructive. Yeah. Um, therapy, that'll probably help. And, uh, support and love of people that care about her truly what's best for her. That'll go a long way. So I'm, uh, I'm rooting and hoping for them. I'm hoping Caitlyn and Vi will make it to the right people. Question mark Jace. I don't know. Uh, I guess we'll find out. Um, and Victor, my dear little sweet Victor, he's desperate and he has done the unspeakable. He has taken Shimmer while trying to survive this new Hex tech, Hex core ability to potentially save him. So we're gonna see, again, this is leading up to him to be Mechanical Boy. So I guess we'll see that. And Jace, I hope he does the right thing, but I don't think he's gonna do the right thing. I think he, it's a, it's, it's a very, I mean, it means well. Again, everyone's like, we need to be able to protect ourselves, defend the people. But having weapons, what else was created? Like, I mean, it's very realistic to what we're going through today in war. Like, they can always get in the wrong hands and you always mean well and things go wrong. I, I agree with Victor. I think that there's other ways to be able to protect themselves. And that might be digging deep. Maybe finding some good relations of people down below to help fight. I don't know, easier said than done. Regardless, I'll stop my rambling. Let's get on to this episode, episode eight of Arcane. Let's get to it. Oh, is this must be her when she's younger? Very Game of Thrones, eh? This war is a failure of statecraft. Your brother thinks he can talk his way out of anything. He fancies himself a fox among the wolves, but mark me, child. If that is her mom. In this, perhaps she could be my daughter. You'd give me a throne. I will give you the uh -oh. world, child. Is this what this is then? Her trying to prove she can take it? She won't make trouble for us. Uh, is this going to be good enough for She's you? A symbol of the old regime. Kill her now. Show the people we are merciful. Yeah, that was your mom. Hello? Jinx. Oh, Echo's gone, isn't he? Maybe blown off the bridge. Maybe he ran away. He does care. He does care. It's gone. Oh, no. That's the second time. I was smiling when I turned. Look out for yourself. The area. I've got orders to escort you back. And he doesn't know anything. Yeah, brains. It's not the grossest looking vomit. That's good. Caitlin. We were so worried. Thank goodness you're safe. And you found a stray. Oh. This is Vi. So I see. Could we have a word? So I see. Caitlin, 
in private. You're not going to care about your daughter that's injured? Hello? You have to speak to the council. I keep forgetting her mom's on the council. She doesn't I'll trust her mom. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Is Victor going to show up? Oh. This is the Undercity doctor. The process would be the bad thing. Oh. She can't. I understand. Please understand. This is for your own sanity. Oh, so he's gonna put him to sleep. I do one sad daughter. He's like, you don't want to see what we ought to do. I find it funny. She's coughing and then she inhales cigarette smoke. Let's be plain then. He's slipping. The undercity is devolving into chaos. Oh, that's somehow I get interesting. The he's not there balancing bookshelves. Bigger fish than Silco? I don't know. Oh, are you... S is her mom is coming to visit? Or is she using her mom as military? Hello. I sent you here to oversee our family's interests and grow yourself. Which you have, the brother's gone. As in gone, gone, or disappeared? What he crossed the wrong oh. man. Piltover isn't like Noxus. War isn't our first Noxus. and Noxus! Miss Medard. Who is you? Yes. I'm off to sample the local cuisine. Okay. Talk about someone taking charge, man. It's a... No monster's gonna get you when I'm here. Then a real monster showed up. And I just ran away. Hmm. I left her. She likes her. Yowza. It'll only get worse. What did you do? What have you done? I saved her life. Where is she? Oh, Heimer. What's he gonna do? He's such a cutie. Oh, a sad cutie man. He looks. I want to pet him. Oh, he's so sad. Oh, Echo? It's designed for the fissures. The air is denser. Oh, oh. Spring right equal. Are you Councillor Heimer? I wanted to offer my assistance to the citizens of the Undercity, but it seems I'm unwelcome. I don't know how oh. I'm going to get down there with my leg busted. And, well, you're holding my ride. Fix it. Friends. It's um. I wonder if he's uncomfortable. <laughs> and I'm not sure. You're Mel's mom. Among other things. Squeeze, child. You won't break it. I do have other matters, so if you'll excuse the me. The threat of the Undercity is Council is the problem. The mind hiding behind the body. Navigating your current mm. crisis requires expertise you lack. Oh. <laughs> I see why this province and my daughter have fallen for you. I have experience. I want you to succeed here, Jace. But if you don't accept certain realities, I fear you'll end up like General Parlek, slaughtered with your eyes closed. The sheriff betrayed us. Don't make we a rash decision. We need to act. Councillors, this is Vi. She was born in the Undercity. People are starving, sick. Ravaged by one shame. man leads these efforts. Silco. 
We've done investigations of Silco. They yielded no such level of organization. And who led these investigations? Yeah. Marcus. What is this Silco? He believes the Undercity should be independent. He calls it the Nation of Zorn. Oh. Going by force. That could trigger war. But there are good people down there. <laughs> Bad ones, too. Even when if do we, we say enough is enough. Jace, you don't know war. I do. It must be our last resort. solution. Uh, interesting that she's, she's right. getting changing. I'm so glad that they're being resistant to that. I'm surprised, but. What? You want to negotiate with him? He and will she, never she back down. so she wants violence. I can fix this. You can't. This is how things are. How they've always been. I was so stupid to think it could wasn't enough. Top side and bottom, oil and water. That's all there is. What about us? Oil and water. water. Was it meant to go back to that big, shiny house of yours and just forget me? No. She doesn't want that. You both don't. Victor? Very interesting. Very interesting. You don't have to go further, do you? Victor, oh no. A for a don't hurt her. Ah! It's gonna walk into him naked. Wait, is his whole body turning into machine? Victor, I was hoping you might take a look at something I've been working no. on. Everything you do inspires me. <sighs> Let go. She gonna get her fists? I'm not a bitch. Shut down his supply, and it's only a matter of time before his own people turn on him. That's how do we not do a bad plan. Take out his manufacturing facility. Time to make your hammer. So, so we got a deal, pretty boy. It's hammer time. Hmm. He's not even wearing a mask. Hello? Oh, snap. Oh, snap. Oh my gosh, they're so... Uh. Hello? Someone coming to help? There's Vi. Oh my gosh. Yes! Wow. This is cool. There's so many of them. Nice. Nice. Dang, this makes me want to play League. <laughs> It'd be cool if they had an Overwatch paced League of Legends game. Hey! It's range time. They are scary, man. Oh no, oh no. It's not so fun now, is it? That's why they were saying the casualties of war. Oh. He fell from a long ways after getting hit. Should we just sit there calmly and watch him? This music. 
<laughs> F them for doing this. <laughs> uh, oh no. Oh no. Ugh. <sighs> What is Shimmer Jinx gonna be like? Oh my gosh, I don't even think I've seen this in game. I don't think so. I just, I mean, that's about everything I'm comparing it to, but is she be able to go back to the way she was? Is she always gonna be Shimmer Girl now? Wow. Yeah, Jace is finally getting experience about what war is like in the casualty. Yeah, I guess he, I mean, I imagine he was in shock about what happened, but it's still, it seems like he still has hope. I think the fact that he's working with Vi, who is part of the Undercity, I'm hoping will keep that kind of reality in check. Because she doesn't seem like, she seems like she has a good head on her shoulder too, where she's like, she, need, she sees the need for getting things done, but she doesn't see, seem to think you have to think, do things overboard, right? And even the council surprised me in this episode of being like, I don't know, I think, think they obviously don't want war either. Yeah, and uh, I really do love in this episode, I got the sweet Heimerdinger show up he's such a sweetie and finding echo i'm hoping he'll maybe fix his little board up um and get him help and that again another i love this under city and top side coming people coming together you know again i like people having harmony and camaraderie and all that um it's something i always enjoy seeing um obviously the heartbreak moment of the episode was sky innocently walking in and thinking it was another experiment she was helping victor and then in the blink of an eye she just disintegrated thanos and victor was in shock can't believe it i uh he's given up so much at this point he can't even like take back the stuff like he was doing this without the shimmer i imagine his whole body is basically becoming machine is essentially what it is like it's not just still any form it's that it feels like he's going that direction but i don't know how he feels after all of this with Sky just being gone. But again, the Hextep cube itself now has its own shape around it. What does that mean? I don't know. I have a lot of questions about that, but another great episode. The music is killer in the show. It's very like, I'm very moved when music creates that emotional response combined with the scene, obviously. And they really do, they really know how to create that and spawn that reaction in me for sure. It's getting intense and we have one episode to wrap this up. Are they gonna, you know, Silco's obviously gonna respond to this. They're gonna have some sort of matchup with this. Caitlyn's gonna probably go back to the other city and get involved somehow. I'm not quite sure. I'm hoping Epper, e Echo and Heimerdinger will have gotten up to something. I'm wondering what the council and this uh, Miss Madara, Madarda, will, uh, if she's going to get involved or if she just came as giving some um, advice, I'm not quite sure. There's a lot of this potential directions this could take and I'm ready to hear it, uh, I'm ready to watch it, so. But thanks guys so much for watching this reaction review. I hope you enjoyed it. Go ahead and show support by thumb giving the video a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button if you would like to see more or help further support and you can take a look at the videos we already have at your disposal so on that note that's everything so again thanks so much for watching and i'll see you on the next one and last episode